I wanted to share this concept with you that I've been living actually my entire life, really, but I finally just put a name to it, and that is the Maximal Minimalist. I am the Maximal Minimalist, and I hope to inspire you to be a Maximal Minimalist, too. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, please hit subscribe. You're gonna be the first to know whenever I upload new content, which is gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you're not gonna miss any of my live streams which are coming up in any kind of bonus content that I throw your way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications with that little bell icon so that you're never out of the loop. Today I want to share with you the reason why I am on this channel, the reason why I am making videos for you guys, um, and the reason is I have a message that I want to share with you. Um, so let me give you a little bit of background. Uh, I started this channel back in 2013, uh, very shortly after I graduated college. It was a real dream of mine to have a YouTube channel. YouTube was like a really big important part of my life for quite a few years leading up to me starting a channel and I really just I wanted to be a part of that community. I did mostly beauty videos as you know if you've been here for a long time you know what my content was like. It was a lot of makeup, it was a lot of tutorials, um, and lots of product reviews. After some time passed, um, I like to say real life interfered. Uh, I had a full-time job. Um, I was working 40 to 50 hours a week. It just started to become like this crush. There was this like crushing force on me because I wanted to be on YouTube. That's where my passion lied. I wanted to be in front of the camera. I wanted to be creating videos. I wanted to be editing them. And slowly but surely, you know, the the pressures of having, you know, the full-time job, which I didn't even really love, to be honest with you. I was dedicated to it. It was paying the bills. It was awesome. For the first time, I had the money that I needed to pay my student loans and to pay my bills and a little bit of money left over even after that. Um, so I was really committed to that aspect of work. But my real passion and what really made me happy was making these videos. The commitment of that job started to eat away at my passion. It started to eat away at the time that I had to be myself, you know, be myself on the side. Um, and it just, it came to a point where I had to let it go. I had to let YouTube go. In order to stay focused and in order to stay committed to my job, I almost had to shut away a part of myself in order to perform this job. I don't even know that I've even vocalized that um, ever before. I've journaled about it a lot, but in, in order to do this job, in order to be an adult, in order to do what I needed to do to make money, to pay my bills, to pay my student loans, I had to shut away a part of myself. And I know I'm not alone when I say that. I know I'm not alone when I talk about this because a lot of my friends are in the same predicament. A lot of us have these, these big dreams, especially if you're a creative person, especially if you want to create. You know, I, I went to school for theater. Uh, that was my major. And I know a lot of us out there are living these lives that we didn't imagine for ourselves. Shutting away a part of yourself shouldn't be part of the deal, right? You know, I think so many people are in jobs that they don't love or aren't the jobs that they dreamed of. Uh, I understand that, but when we commit ourselves so fully to something like that and we have to shut a part of ourselves off, that's that's not right. It happens really slowly. It happens little by little. You don't even know that it's happening and then it happens and you're miserable and you don't know who you are and you don't know why you're doing what you're doing and where did your dreams go and I mean there was a point where I was basically just going to work coming home eating maybe watching tv and going to sleep waking up and going to work again and then I started introducing things like journaling in the course of my journaling this channel came back and I just I knew that I had to get back to YouTube so when I came back to this channel, I knew that I wasn't the same person as I was when I started it. And I knew that I wanted to share with you guys more than just beauty and skincare. 
And so I was thinking about it and I realized that I wanted to share my journey with you. I wanted to share this concept with you that I've been living actually my entire life, really, but I finally just put a name to it. And that is the Maximal Minimalist. I am the Maximal Minimalist and I hope to inspire you to be a Maximal Minimalist too. When I speak about minimalism, I am talking about internal, not external things. I don't mean the number of things that you own. It's not a material thing. I mean internally, your tools, your gifts, your spirit. That is what's going to lead you to your best life and to your happiness. You cannot purchase some thing, some material thing, to give yourself a better life. That's not where it comes from. That's not where happiness comes from. It comes from within. And we already own those unique sets of talents and gifts within us. That's what I mean by minimalism. We already have it. Maximalism is taking what we already have and maximizing it, making the most out of what we already have. And that is what I really want to inspire you guys to live and to be. I want you to make the most out of what you already have because what you need is already within you. I promise you, what you need is already within you. You already own it. You can't buy it, you already have it. The Maximal Minimalist is about knowing that the tools and talents that you need are already inside of yourself. You just need to learn how to use them. And that is what I wanna do with this channel. I want to teach you how to unlock those talents and those gifts and how to use them to your best advantage. What I want to promote is a sense of positivity. I wanna promote a sense of independence. I wanna promote a sense of self-love. I want to promote a community that is supportive, that is creative, that is strong, that is empowered. Because when we unlock our talents, when we unlock the tools within ourselves, these things naturally come. We naturally are stronger. We are naturally more empowered. We are naturally more creative. We start to become in touch more with the spirit of who we really are. And when we know who we are, we know what we want. And when all of those things become clear, we're able to go after them. And I just want to inspire everybody to know that your best life is out there. You just have to unleash your maximal minimalist. If you embody the spirit, you will be able to find your path. I know that that kind of feels like wishful thinking, but I honestly really believe this. I really believe in this concept of making the most out of what we already have. So what I really want to do is embrace this concept on my channel. You're still going to see a lot of the same content from me, but know that it's coming from this maximal minimalist mindset. I want to make the most out of what I have, and I want to teach you how to make the most out of what you have. Just by implementing this concept, this maximal minimalist concept, by implementing these tools and tricks, I have seen more happiness manifest, more creativity manifest in my life in a very short period of time. And I really want to show you that you guys can do this in your life too. So if you're ready to start your maximal minimalist journey, please give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of my tips or tricks. And let me know in the comments below, what does your best life look like? So I hope you guys are having a beautiful week. I will see you in the next video. Bye.